Hey, good afternoon, YouTubers. Actually, it's early evening, and um, it's after 6 o'clock. Um, anyways, had kind of a productive day today. Um, got up this morning, and I basically had some rice left over. Rice from yesterday, and then uh, made some coffee. Still has some coffee, by the way. Just reheat it in the microwave. Anyway, I uh, so this morning um, I went out and I worked out for about an hour and a half on the back deck. I started about ten, yeah, ten o'clock, and uh, the sun was just getting up above the tree. And it was kind of cloudy out and hazy and uh, so I got about halfway through my workout two full sets after about 30 minutes and then the clouds and the haze kind of burned off and then I was in the sun so then I put on the olive not the olive oil the, the tanning oil <laughs> anyways I want to show you the kind of tanning oil I use um, there's the, the, this is all natural ingredients. It's called Hawaiian Tropic Dark Tanning Oil, and there's no uh, SPF factor with this, but it's mostly coconut oil and plant extracts. And coconut oil has a natural SPF factor of um, six to nine. So you know if if you don't stay out in the sun long and I've been doing this for four months, and when I first started exercising on the deck, I was only going 30 minutes, and I do about 15 minutes on a side. So it took me, it's taken me four months, April, May, June, and July, to get my tan to where it is now. So that's four months, okay? And, uh, you know, you're out there, you work out 30 minutes at least. You get your vitamin D for the day, okay? And that's the best way of getting it. I heard I heard that if you were out there for 30 minutes, you could get up to like 15,000 IUs of vitamin D. And I, when I go out there, I don't have a shirt on. And, you know, the sun gets my whole back, my whole front, my legs, all the way down from basically from your upper thigh okay because I got a bathing suit on upper thighs all the way down the full length of the leg so basically my tan the only place I don't have a tan is basically below my belly button down to my groin and, and you know where you uh, that's it I have it's my everything else is tan my front of my legs back of my legs Front, front, back, face, whatever, and and a lot of times, like today, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, brush my hair and then I'll put it in a ponytail, okay, so that my hair doesn't cover up the upper part of my back and neck. So I kind of tie it off in a ponytail, and and put one of these scrunchy things on it to hold it in place. So that's what I do, and it also helps keep. The hair from you know picking up all the oil that's on your back so anyway so I did that I had a really good workout I really uh, worked hard I didn't do a lot of extra reps I did about 50 reps for each exercise you know I do the uh, bicep curl right then left 50 and 50 then I do this uh, tricep thing like that's the motion I do 50 of those 50 of those and then I do the I just you know I'm holding the brick the brick is 3.72 pounds so that's almost three and three quarter pounds so um, and then I just kind of go straight out and hold it for three seconds okay basically go like this one two three one inhale one two three two and you do 20 of those okay each arm okay so think about it you count in the three and then you lower it inhale and go back out so it takes about five seconds so to do 20 reps 
20 times 5 is 100 seconds, so what's that? That's almost like a minute and 40 seconds, just to do one of those. So, you know, you do that, you do that, and then the last uh, exercise I do is a military press with the brick, and I do 30 reps, okay, each arm. And I figure it takes you two seconds to do one rep. So, 30, that's a minute. So, when you add up all the minutes of all those four different exercises on each arm, that's eight sets times probably two minutes each. Uh, that's like 16 minutes, okay? So, so basically when I go out there and I'm working out for an hour, it's uh, four sets, okay? I did five sets today, and the only thing was on the fifth set, I did all the exercises just like that, 50, 50, 20, and then 30. But on the fifth set, I did not do the last exercise. I was kind of tired, so I didn't do the military presses. But I did four sets of those. So, you know, I mean, I haven't calculated how much actual work I do in the time I'm out here for an hour and 20 minutes, but it probably adds up to a lot. And you know, after after you get done the sec first and second set, you're sweating profusely, especially if you're in the sun. And this morning it was 90 degrees, and it said like the real feel was like about 100. So you're sitting at this in the sun with low humidity, and you're sweating like a big dog for an hour or more, and and then you know you just get in the in the zone. I love it. You know, I mean. You know, I'm not killing myself, but I'm breathing right, and I'm pushing that book. I'm, you know, it's foot-pounds force, right? And if I'm moving that brick one, two feet distance vertically, right, with every movement, it changes the elevation of the brick by two feet. Two feet times the weight of the brick tells you how many foot-pounds force actual work that you're doing okay and i haven't calculated it out yet but i'm sure it's less than one horsepower okay <laughs> i'd have to convert it but i don't know hey you know I, I i i don't think i can compete with a horse but you know i'm just i'm just kidding around but i would be interested to know you know how relative to what a horse one horsepower is how much horsepower is Francis putting out there, you know? So I think it's something you can calculate. I just have to, like, Google it and figure it all out, but I'll do that sometime. So anyways, um, we, uh, after I did all that and came back in the house, uh, whatever, um, Debbie Lynn and I decided we wanted to go out for lunch. So. We left here about 2 o'clock, and we got over to the Hibachi Grill about 2.30. We went in. We were in there about an hour, and, you know, it's like a buffet. You pay, like, well, if you get there before 3.30, 4 o'clock, you pay the lunch rate, and it's like seven fifty nine for an adult, plus they charge you about $2 for a drink. So it's like basically, and with tax, you know, it basically works out to about ten twenty-five a person. And then I, I give the girl brings you over your drink. Like I was having iced tea, and Debbie was having a coke, I think. And they fill up. You go, you got this big glass with ice in it, so they just fill it up. I used to get the hot tea, but I haven't tried the hot tea there yet. And um, you know, sometimes the hot tea isn't good because they don't use enough tea. But I like strong coffee and strong tea. But I know the uh, the sweet tea was pretty good. I had I, I think I had two full, big tall glasses of it. And I had um, I had an appetizer plate, which is basically salad, a uh, egg roll, and um, some chicken. You know, stuff you put on top of the salad, a little salad dressing. And I think that was it. And then, and then after I ate that, I went out and uh, and I get my main plate. I put they had two different kinds of fried rice. I put half the plate was covered with 
one kind of rice and the other half was another kind of rice. Then I put uh, some spinach, green beans, um, what else did I have? Uh, oh, they have this like crab meat stuff with cheese on it, I had some of that. And then I had a piece of um, teriyaki chicken. Then I had a, a couple of pieces of the sesame chicken, it's like battered with the sauce on it. And what else did I have? Uh, a couple of chicken wings. And uh, oh, and some mushrooms. They have they have a tray that has these like mushrooms, cooked mushrooms. I put a, you know put that on top. And that, that's about it, really. I don't I don't really I, I didn't have a third. I didn't have any dessert. No sweets. I had a second egg roll. I like the egg rolls, but the egg rolls they have there isn't as good as China Buffet in Orange Park over in the Jacksonville area. But we had a very enjoyable meal. And Debbie, Debbie had her camera and she, we did some kind of review. And I think she's going to upload that later, but I don't know. I was just watching uh, some videos. I watched a 59 minute, um, it's called YouTube Wrestling Entertainment 18 Plus. So I watched two matches. Actually, there was two men's animated wrestling matches. And then there was this 10 minute match at the end. And it was six, six women in the ring all fighting each other. Last woman in the ring wins. <laughs> and I was rooting for Cameo, the comeback kid from her car accident. And and Cameo won. <laughs> it was great. You know, it was great. So, congratulations, Cameo. I love you, girl. And, you know, Kat, you got tossed out of the ring, and I felt bad for you, but... But that that with that knockout drag out between Mume and Cameo at the end was oh my goodness you know, in fact the last three in the ring was Cat Riley, Mume and Cameo and I'm like oh my god, the other three women I don't even know who they are but I guess they've been wrestling for a while too but I'm I'm new at watching these things so, anyways it was, it was very entertaining to watch and um, so. Anyways, having a lot of fun. I don't know if I, I don't think Francis would stand a chance in the ring with any of you six girls. I'll tell you what, I am i don't know if I, I wouldn't last very long. I think you just beat me up terrible. So I think I'm going to avoid this, doing this ring thing because, uh, you know, I'm not into violence at all. <laughs> Francis is a lover. <laughs> Okay, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick on out of here. So uh, maybe I'll have a hangout later. And I don't know. This video is probably gonna take an hour to upload. So see ya.